Okay, so we're back from the from yesterday. Yesterday should have been full, so today is legs. And um, you know, it's the same thing, the same thing we've always been doing. Starting out with the hamstrings, and then moving on to the quads. It doesn't really matter which sequence I start with. I honestly just do this out of preference. But yeah, it's just gonna be some, uh, some single leg curls for about five sets. And then the last three sets, I'll decide whether I wanna do the double leg or just move on to the cable and do some standing. But I do prefer to do these unilaterally. Why? Because then I can feel which leg has which, which leg is weaker. So like for example, my right leg, my right leg when I'm doing curls is weaker than my left leg. And you can always test this by doing some feeler reps or some warm up sets before you start your workout. And you always feel that one leg can do like more weight than the other. It can push more weight than the other. And that's actually also the same with um, my, the leg extensions, I, I believe, as well. But I'm not sure. Actually, I'll get back to that. I'll get back to you guys on that when we do the leg extensions after we're done with the curls. So after this, um, yeah, I think I'm going to switch it up a bit. Instead of doing just le single leg extensions for five sets, I'm going to do some back squats for five sets and then some double leg extensions and just sissy squat all the eight sets. <laughs> but actually, no, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't know. That sounds, that sounds way too intense. But yeah, let's get started. Oh, by the way, I charged the mic. So I hope it sounds better. And I hope there's no white noise like with the other one. But yeah, let's get started. Okay. okay, so I use the same weight for both legs, but I, if you notice, with my left leg, I did way more reps than with my right leg. And honestly, I cannot add the weight because if I add the weight, then I'm going to start cheating. Doing so, not using proper form, so yeah. Oh. 
Uh, honestly, also the reason why I like doing it unilaterally is not just because I can like feel which leg like has which leg is weaker, but also because I can have like a better mind to muscle connection. Like I can focus fully on that single leg and give my all to it more than just with the with the double leg. So that's why I prefer doing the double leg as a finisher. But you know you can do whatever you prefer because they're all gonna give you a great pump. You know? As the greatest thing to do, the hardest thing is starting, you know, and getting there. So yeah. Three more sets. Oh. That was something.
That was good. Definitely a contraction going on. Strong one at that. So I'm thinking for the last three sets, I think we can just do some double legs. Instead of going to do the standing on the cable. I don't really feel like leaving here. So yeah. Oh, and actually, update. Instead of... So it will not... Be... It will not be closing from the 23rd to the 2nd. It's going to be from the 24th to the 28th. So it's just, it's just four days. That's, that's not too much. So I'm guessing on the 28th is when we're going to be back. We're going to be back for push. I think it's going to be day 15. Wait, actually, I don't know. I'm not. Honestly, lost track. Oh well, yeah, and I wanted to say, you know, you don't really have to overcomplicate what you come and do every day. Like you don't have to write it down and stick to a specific plan. And like you have to train with this specific equipment on this specific day. Like, of course, you stick to your schedule. You know, whether you're doing a push pull legs, whether you're doing an Arnold split, whether you're doing the bro split, whether you're doing the split that's, that Sam Sulek uses. What is it? Is it chest, shoulders, um, back, arms, legs, repeat, no rest days? That's a bit mad, you know? But, or whether you're doing a four day split or five day split, whichever, you, whichever you're doing. You just gotta know in your head, you know, you're coming to the, you're coming to the gym and let's say it's legs, we're gonna do eight sets of hams and eight sets of quads and you're done. You know, you can do any exercise that you want to do for those eight sets. And you can you can split you can split the eight sets however you want. Or just do one exercise for the full eight sets. They're all gonna target the hams or the quads. Or you can do 10 sets or you can do six sets or you can do 15 sets <laughs> whichever you're comfortable with just don't overwork yourself That is good. So I'm gonna do one more set of that off camera. And that will conclude the eight sets. The eight sets of the hamstrings. So we can cut to some uh, some quad action. Okay, so we're done with the um, the hamstrings, the hams. We did the, so today was just fully on the seated hamstring curl machine. 
we didn't do any standing hamstring curls. So um, it was what? It was, it was five sets of the single leg and then three sets with the double leg. And safe to say, it was a sufficient pump, truly. So, um, so instead of hopping like the usual days, I'm sure you'd, you'd have already guessed it. Instead of hopping into the quads with some leg extensions, you know, the normal single leg extensions and then the double leg extensions. Today, we're gonna hop into some back squats. They're gonna be the main focus. So we're gonna do like five sets of this. And then we have a little twist. So because we are a little psycho, we're gonna do some, uh, what is it called? Some sissy squats while we rest. So it's gonna be like, kind of like a super set, but the sissy squats I encountered as part of the workout. It's kind of just like a, like a burnout that's, that you can optionally, you know, add if you want. So um, it's gonna be like, uh, let's see. It's gonna be, you do one, you do your sets, you do your back squats and you go till failure. You know, you don't count the reps, you just go till failure. And then you hop, you, you, put the, you put the bar back and then you step back and do some sissy squats until you can't stand anymore, until you can't extend. You just, you just kneel down. I feel like that's gonna be extremely intense. But you know, the more intense the pain, the greater the pump, yes? Yes. Okay. So let's get started. Oh. oh yeah, that is an insane pump. Just from the first set. Woo. I think I'm gonna have to take the hat off for this one. It's a bit too crazy. Ah. So three more sets of that. And you know, actually, one of the reasons that I do my cardio in the morning and then I come to the gym in the afternoon. Well, obviously I have to be a little bit psycho, but you know, it's also as much as it is said that cardio kills your gains, doing some low intensity cardio every day is good for your endurance. Like you can push farther Till failure without being so hammered out you know like when you're when you're when you're when you're getting to your last set and you're out of breath you can't even properly complete your 
your set. You probably need to increase your endurance. And a perfect way to do that is just give 30 minutes of your time to do some low intensity cardio. You can go and ride a bike, go to the spin bike or assault bike or whatever it is. And just go at a medium pace. Not really like high intensity, no. Just at a comfortable pace. You can play some Clash Royale or something while you're doing your while you're, while you're doing your your set. So if if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can do some offline games. Like Swordigo. Swordigo is a wonderful offline game. I mean you can also do on the treadmill. So like you crank the treadmill up to the highest in incline and go out at like five or six speed or seven speed like like this not really to speed walk but like not slow walking either like a like a nice power walk type thing so yeah you do that for like um yeah for like 30 minutes but i don't like doing that because i can't really i'm just i'm listening to my music but i'm just staring out into nothingness i can't really like you know even if i'm watching a show I'd rather play games on my phone. Yeah, that's why I like this, the bike better, because I can just sit down and do not much like flailing around and stuff. And they both give you a good sweat, at least for me. Okay. That is extremely intense. But the pump is exquisite. Exqu it's magnificent. Ooh. So I'm going to do one more set of camera. So we can cut to some uh, extensions, but with the leg extensions this time, I won't do. I won't like. I won't do the sissy squat while I, while I rest. I'm not gonna burn out with the sissy squat. I'm just gonna do the. Or maybe I should. Honestly, <laughs> am I trying to go easy on myself? I don't know. But I feel like this. That would be too crazy. But you know, too crazy is what, to build, it's what builds up your muscle the most. But yeah, we're gonna cut to some leg extensions. I will do one more set of this. Whew. 
Okay, so we've done the the last set of the back squats. And they are exhausted. They are freaking exhausted. That was one of the greatest pumps ever. I'm telling you, utilizing burnouts, like burnout sets, drop sets, those types of things into your workout is so essential. Like, you know, after you've, after you've taken, after you've used, like, you've done some alternating dumbbell curls, yeah? And you've gone to a failure, instead of just stopping, you take a much lighter weight and you keep going until failure of that. And trust me, it's gonna be so insane. Like what we did yesterday with the incline curls, and then we burned out, like immediately we're done with the incline dumbbell curls. We didn't just stop there. Just because we've hit failure on that doesn't mean we just stop there. I went over and took the easy, I, I took the easy bar with a much lighter weight than I would normally do and just pump out as much set, as much reps as I could with that. And trust me, even like the contraction is still there till now. I'm sure more muscle was gained than when I, than if I didn't utilize any burnout sets. I would say the difference between burnout sets and drop sets, I don't even know if they're called burnout sets. I'm just calling them burnout sets. Is that like, with the drop sets, with, with the drop sets, you're doing the same move, but with a lighter weight. But with burnout sets, you're using a totally different move to burn out. For example, sissy squats are not the same as leg extensions, you know? But if I was to drop set the leg extensions, I would just put it as a lighter weight and keep going until I can't no more. Actually, I think instead of burning out with the sissy squats on this, on this leg extension that we're about to do, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop set it. Like to drop set each set. So like, or maybe not, honestly, why do I like the pain? What, what, what is wrong with me, fam? The pain is not something that we should be, we should be trying to amplify. <laughs> well, yeah, let's get, let's get into it. so finished right now my quads are so burned i don't even think i can drop set i can't <laughs> yikes that is insane that is insane whenever i'm doing the leg extension they just feel so numb and then after the numbing there's this extreme burn that comes in Ooh. and it comes in so quick That just shows that they have been worked sufficiently and prominently. Yes, sir. Woo, what a good day. What a good pump. A good pump makes a good day. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh, man. Okay, so we are done. We are done. Eight sets of quads finished. And eight sets of hams also done. So now we're left with eight sets of calves. Because we didn't do the calves today morning. When we usually do our cardio, we didn't do the calves. So we're going to do the, the calves right now. So the calves is obviously always going to be the same. Three sets with your toes, with my, with my heel, with my heels pointed inwards. Then I'm going to do three more sets with my heels pointed outwards. And I'm going to do two sets, just some single leg, some single leg uh, calf raises. And that should be a sufficient pump. So yeah, let's cut to that. Okay, so I'm all set for my calf raises. I'm sure you remember what I said, yeah? I'm gonna give you a second to guess. What did I say that I'm gonna start with for the first three sets? And then what did I say I'm gonna follow with for the next three sets? And then what did I say I'm gonna finish with for the last two sets? If you've been paying attention. So for the first three sets, it's gonna be with my heels pointed outwards. And then the next three sets is gonna be with my heels pointed inwards. Then the last two sets is gonna be some single leg cow phrases. Now, if I got some of that wrong, please don't go back and check the footage because there's no way I just failed my own question. Huh? So yeah. But you know, I always, I always like to start with my heels pointed outwards because it's the most awkward movement out of all the cow phrases, it's the most awkward. Like, it's like you're doing three sets of uwus, you know? Like your, your, your feet do not feel natural and they keep trying to fight you to go back to their natural straight posture. So yeah, but, the, but with the heels pointed inwards, that feels totally natural. That feels, that feels wonderful, you know? So yeah, let's start these uh these three sets. They're already tight. So like when I usually do with the, with my heels pointed outwards, I usually feel really tight towards the outer end of my calves. I believe it's called the solace. I'm not really sure what it's called. And then when I do the three sets with, it, with my heels pointed inwards, I feel really tight on the inside part of my calves. I'm not sure, I, I'm also, I also forgot the name. Is it called the gastronemus? Is that a whole different muscle? I don't know, man. I don't know. And then, when I do the single leg, I just feel tight everywhere. Like the whole calf. It's just, it's like spread out. But it's not as intense as, do, as doing it with, 
like focusing towards a specific region. But yeah, it's an insane pump. Okay, let's hop into some uh, some car phrases with the heels pointed inwards. Okay, so when I'm doing when I'm doing with my heels pointed inwards, I like to use a, a heavier weight or a heavier dumbbell. Not because I can't use the heavier dumbbell with my heels pointed outwards. It's just because I have more balance when my heels are pointed inwards. I have more balance so I can use more weight like without you know risking falling over or falling down and I don't have to adjust so much because I don't know if you saw but when I was doing um when I was doing it with my heels pointed outwards I had to like constantly adjust my legs because my legs keep trying to go they keep trying to go straight instead of you know going into the uwu stance so yeah Three sets of this, and then um, we move on to some single leg. Yeah, that is an insane contraction. Oh, the inside part is so tight right now. That just shows that you're working the specific part that you're targeting. You know, like you expect the muscle that you're trying to target is the muscle that is gonna, you know, 
get worked. Like it's not, it's, it's, it's the part where it's gonna get tight, you know, and get get like that pump, that contraction. Because if you're doing a bench press, but you're not getting a contraction on your chest, instead you're just getting that left shoulder pain, or you're just getting a quad pump. I very that ain't right man that ain't right you gotta check on something you gotta check on something something is a mess something needs to be debuckled in that whole situation Man, I could have kept going, but my grip was tearing out, and I could feel the dumbbells slipping from my fingers. This is why you need lifting straps. And if you ever get the money, and you can buy some lifting straps, man, that would go a heavy, that would go a great way in helping you keep your grip and push farther to failure. Because, you know, you don't want to, like for example, you know the reason I don't do stiff like deadlifts right now, like they're literally one of the top exercises for your hamstrings, but I don't do them right now because I don't have lifting straps. So my, so my grip, my forearms, they tie out before my whole hamstrings can really, or my lower back can really like, you know, tire out. So that's why I just stick to some hamstring curls. But when I do get lifting straps, I am gonna incorporate stiff leg deadlifts into my hamstring training. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to some uh, single, leg, single leg calf raises on a box. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're done with legs today. I'm not sure which day it is, but today is the last day of the year. Because I finish, I feel like it's it's best to just finish it off with some legs instead of coming and finishing it off with some push or some pull and then you know like it's, it's not really the split isn't complete you know you want to end off in a complete split at least that's what i want to do so i'm probably going to come back on the 28th yeah on the 28th because tomorrow is my rest day and then on the 24th the okay yeah so sorry the camera just told me i reached the maximum recording time <laughs> which i didn't know it has so as i was saying probably gonna close it off today because tomorrow is my rest day and then the gym is closing on the 24th but it will open on the 28th so i'll probably be here on the 28th Or maybe if I'm not here on the 28th, I'll probably be here on the 2nd of January. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm definitely gonna come back stronger for the next year. But uh, yeah, it was a wonderful pump to end the year off, to end the, to end the day off. And I hope you guys have a good Christmas. So see you guys for, uh, it's gonna be push on whatever day it will be.